Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from whatever you are watching this channel, depending to your time zone. Now, there have been a big problem in this country since current government came into existence. And besides this, also a huge problem with the national government. Though having current government, it also helped so that at least resources are distributed. Eh? And everyone in every corner of this country can be reached out to in terms of development, even if it's not that huge, but at least you see something happening on the ground. With all this move, we have seen so many people suffering when it comes to the issue of contracts, be it national government, be it, count, be it county governments. We see suppliers being forced out of business because when they deliver their goods and services to the county government or national government, payments becomes the biggest problem. It takes you years and years for you to get your money back. So even it forces you into bankruptcy. Companies have closed. Many people losing business. An issue that has forced people to fire the employees. So causing a job problem. Now many people are jobless because some counties asked for services. The companies offered, but now they were not paid in millions of money. They don't have a means of running their um, companies. The only thing remaining is you for you to close the business and wait now to battle this issue in the court. <laughs> it takes years. We've talk, we are talking about the issue of Dr. Strike and many other things. Fake fertilizer. So with all these issues, the demo on the Kine, the Narok Senator, brought a bill in the National Assembly that will force governors and government agents to make sure that when people offer their service to the government, they are paid their money within a specified time. Not wait for five years or a regime to go so that another one will come in and all those other things. Because of the reason we have said and what the Senate has elaborated on. So the majority whip in the Senate, Bonnie Halwane, took up this matter and he really supported that position. He went even further to point some of the problems that we are talking about that suppliers, companies and other people have suffered in the hands of the government. He went further to talk about the uh, how pending bills have affected the running of county government and national governments. Stalled projects, it comes in because of the issue of pending bills. He even went further to use the examples of Kakamega to point up his point. Bohungo Stadium, stalled project. Talking about the teaching and referral hospital, level 6 hospital in Kakamega. That was started by Oparanya, stall project. So many things he can mention. So because of this, he is warning the government also that as we fail to deal with these issues, then we are causing this country into a mess. Where by now? Military are watching very careful. They see. So when the institution fails to function as per the law of the land, then they will come in to use an constitutional means to take over power and leadership of the country. That's what, those are not my words. Bonihalwale. That when we see everyone is complaining. From stalled project, they can't go and the money being used here is taxpayers' money, not your money. Taxpayers' money. Imejenga ika kwama. Imejenga ika kwama. Ibarabara ika kwama. Yote ushuru ya wananchi. No complete projects. Doctors on the road. Ushuru wa wananchi. You are talking about giving people fake fertilizer. Ushuru wa wananchi. Pesa zao unanyanganya tu wananchi pesa kiwazi tu mchana wa mungu. And many, many other things, including even floods that you cannot even eh, control or manage. Military is just watching in silence. So when they learn that you have failed completely, they 
come in. He is giving this kind of statement at a time when we know we lost CDF Francis Ogola in an aircraft tragedy. Kulikuwa na waga fulani hapa na kakua mambo kama hayo ama ni vipi. This message is for Ruto and governors. But when you talk about military, you are addressing the president. He is addressing this issue at a time when we have lost a full CDF. What message is Bonnie Halari telling people and William Ruto? Listen to him. Yes, here it is, Mr. Speaker. Where the senator of Narok is attempting to say, if this particular amount of money is owed, let it be cleared with this financial year, he's starting a conversation. And I want to challenge myself, challenge the Finance and Budget Committee, and challenge the entire House. That let us carry this uh, conversation further so that we help all the counties of Kenya. In Nairobi, therefore, it means if people were to wait for all the 20 billion that we give Nairobi to be given out to them, some companies will be paid five years later. It's, we are failing. I had a sitting with the control of budget in our office over this. And she told me, you guys, help us. Mr. Speaker, the tragedy of this problem is that if you go to the countryside, many, many projects have stalled because contractors cannot continue. You come to Kakamega, our first governor, stated Bukongo Stadium, it has stalled, pending bills. Teaching and referral hospital, it has stalled, pending bills. Hayaga Market, Shinyalu Market, Ekolomani Market, they have stalled because of pending bills. The Hayaga, Shinyalu, Chepsonoi Road, it has stalled because of pending bills. And Mr. Speaker, sir, when we raise these issues, governors are quick to run and say they want my seat. Who told governors that they have seats? Those seats belong to the people of those respective counties and they have the choice to renew their contract or throw them out so that more competent people can take over after a circle of five years. Mr. Speaker, I hear you. Amen. Mr. Speaker, if we are not firm as parliament, we'll either throw our country into instability, like what is happening in West Africa, the outdated way of change of government is now back in Africa. We are now seeing coup d'etats because the militaries are waiting to see the institution of parliament ensure that constitutionals are working and when they give up, they use unconstitutional means. How can we be a country, Mr. Speaker, sir, with due respect to myself and the government that I love and I serve, how can we be a country where we see nothing wrong with seeing? Now we are continuing this fucking discussion, but just a quick request. For those who are watching and who have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to our channel. Subscribe as I said, thank you so much. And again, to all our viewers, please give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much. And back to this discussion. Now, when Bonny Kalwale says like this, and they bring in the issue of military, then you try to link this statement with what William Ruto said in one of our previous analysis that we already did. That when was the presumption of office uh, committee, when they sat together, they told them openly that there are some sensitive areas where when you are making choice in terms of appointment, you should not shy away from choosing people from your own community to those sensitive positions because it means a lot. Take that statement 
add on what Ruto, what Bonacarwale is saying, then also put in a situation whereby we have lost a CDF. Then you tell me, as a thinking Kenyan, what will be your conclusion? What will be your conclusion? That was it a plan? Because now we have to interpret this matter. That CDF was a uh, CDF of Gola was a mistake, but put there with a, a reason to deal with him at a certain time and bring in other trusted people from your community to work in your interest to save you. The meaning of the statement that Sazengine Nafasa Zengine Lazim Weka wa Tuwako kwa sababu ziko much sensitive. It is because, or you, you are telling us if we don't have an, an interpretation of that, you might make mistakes as the president. The functioning of the government might fail. That you might turn against the people. But if you don't have a trusted military leader, you can easily be overturned. So because of this, choose your people so that even when you are wrong, you will not be overturned. That they cannot be a coup d'etat. It is happening in West Africa. It's going through across the country and uh, across Africa. And the reasons are that governments have failed to function as per the laws and rules of that country. So the army is watching. When you fail, they come in and take over. And they will be blaming the failure of the government. So as the president, when you fail, they come in. They will not watch in silence as the country goes down. They will have a reason to come in. So can it be one of the reasons why the state swapped a military chopper that Francois Ogola was supposed to use, then brought in something compromised that claimed his life and the other nine who were sacrificed on that line? So that they can have someone trusted that even when they are wrong, they are not worried that the military will talk over from us or they will question anything from us. Can it be that way? Because Kenyans are interpreting this matter. Would the same come and wave? This government has failed in very many ways. From fake, they brought in substandard edible oil. The Kenyan shilling is losing value against the dollar. They found it at 120. Now they took it even up to 150, 60 there. Then it brought, they brought it down. Again, it is going up for the six consecutive days. Dollar may go keep under June. Shilling keep potato weso. They gave us fake fertilizer. We are using sand and a donkey poo painted to plant our seeds, hoping to harvest. And they took our money. Military is watching. When a deputy president of your residence is being renovated at a cost much, much higher expensive than what was used to put up a new building. What are you telling people? 450 million shillings, new house. 600 million to repair the same house. Military is watching. When you come in and your first priority is to use one year budget in six months time on hospitality at State House. Military is watching. When you come in office and your first priority is to renovate State House across the country as if Kenyans are all well, school fees is paid, hospitals are okay. Military is watching you. When you find a repair, Karibu Marambili, when I talk Cabro, when I can get in, when I talk Cabro, as if it's the first priority. When you see First Lady focusing more on telling us about prayer, when they fail and give us fake fertilizer, now they want us to trust, but they are misusing and abusing our taxes. And the military is watching. This fake prayer will have an end. So Bonne Galwale has a message. That's what is telling this regime. They are watching. And a time will come 
when it will be enough and they will come to use an orthodox means in, and the, in the name of Kudita to take over the leadership of this country. It's going to be a mess. No one would like Minister to take over. But that is where this regime is forcing us into. So, Mamba ya ili ajali na hali ya mbabu ni kalala naongelea people can analyze this and say oh, ndiyo mana tulipoteza General Gola ama nini? Masali mengi tu? I don't know your views. But let us be in the comment section to continue this discussion. Thank you so much and see you in our next video.